Okay, let us discuss this problem. So this says two gram sample of NaOCl and CaOCl2. So we have a sample of NaOCl and CaOCl Cl that is basically bleaching powder and this sample is 2 gram so this mixture is 2 gram so we have a sample of 2 gram NaOCl and CaOCl Cl is dissolved in water to prepare a 100 milliliter solution so this 2 gram solution this 2 gram solution is dissolved in water to prepare a 100 ml solution so solution is 100 ml so what we are doing is we have a flask this flask contains 2 gram of NaOCl plus CaOCl Cl and then we are pouring some water in this mixture so that the final volume of solution becomes 100 uh, ml are you getting now this says 10 ml of this solution requires what we are doing is I am taking 10 ml of this solution 10 ml solution is taken and this requires for titration we are doing titration this requires 10 ml of 0.15 m acidified so medium is acidic and a 2 C2O4 that is C2O4 2 minus simply you can write C2O4 2 minus for end point of titration the clear solution is now obtained so we have done titration after titration the clear solution is treated with excess as NO3 so this solution after titration the solution solution you have this solution is titrated with as NO3 treated with AgNO3 and this gives AgCl as a precipitate so AgCl precipitate out and the beta of AgCl precipitate is 0.287 gram are you getting so we have to calculate percentage of NaOCl and percentage of CaOCl Cl so we have to calculate the percentage of NaOCl and CaOCl Cl. So how will you proceed for this question? So see what what is happening here. You have tenable solution taken. That is, you will have NaOCl, CaOCl Cl, and this requires C2O4 2 for two minus for end point of titration. So one reaction you can expect that is C2O4 for two minus in acidic medium it will go into 2 CO2 and if valence you have to add 2 electron also this is the one half reaction this is the oxidation what do you think for the second half that is you must have reduction now see here also if you treat this with AgNO3 AgCl gets precipitated this means Cl- minus also having the solution so this means this initial Cl- minus does not changes I have only OCl minus that changes its oxidation state. So OCl minus can go into Cl minus. Are you getting? So if OCl minus changes into Cl minus, I have to balance this equation in acidic medium H2O plus 2H plus and plus 2 electron. So this is your reduction half. Are you getting? So this is the reduction half. This means OCl minus goes to Cl minus, and if I add these two equations, I have to multiply the equation number one by two. So I can write two C2O4 two minus plus OCl minus, and this gives me the balanced equation. I am not writing all these uh, spaces. You can write yourself. Now let us say we have. NaOCl as a mole so initially we have NaOCl let us say this is present in the solution as a mole and CaOCl Cl that is b mole that is present in the solution so if this is o a mole so OCl minus that is coming from NaOCl that is also a mole and OCl minus that is coming from CaOCl is b mole 
so total OCL minus I can say A plus B mole so OCL minus total this is A plus B mole are you getting now if we titration if we do titration 1 mole of OCL minus requires 2 mole of C2O for 2 minus so A plus B mole of OCL minus so mole of A plus B mole of OCL minus will require 2 times A plus B mole of C2O for 2 minus and the mole of C2O for minus can be also calculated from here you see the mole of C2O for minus that has been reacted is 10 into 0.15 and this in 10 ml solution so I have to multiply by 10 because the total solution is 100 ml so 10 ml requires 10 into 0.15 mole of C2O4 minus so 100 ml will require 10 into 10 into 0.15 m so mole of mole of C2O4 to minus that is reacted is 10 into 10 into 0.15 are you getting so this is simply 15 and this is milliliter this is also milliliter so I have to multiply this divided by 10 to the power minus 3 then it will only give you the mole otherwise it will give you millimole so I have to write 10 to the power minus 3 also here multiply by 10 to the power minus 3 now I can equate these two equations so the number of mole of C2O4 minus is this and number of mole of C2O4 minus is 2 into A plus B here you see so I can write 2 into A plus B is equals to and this is 15 into 10 to the power minus 3 so this is my equation number 1 and second equation I will get from AgCl so you see after this precipitation what is the total Cl minus that is coming so if I write Cl minus also so you will have uh, this equation 2e so this is here this side you will have only Cl minus because this is not multiplied and rest of the term you will have are you getting so what is the number of Cl minus that is coming in this solution if the mole of OCl minus is A plus B then Cl minus that is formed is also A plus B so Cl minus that is formed during the reaction is A plus B so formed Cl minus you can say formed Cl minus that is basically A plus B but if you see there was some Cl minus that is also initially present you see here in the form of CaO Cl Cl so this is Cl minus that is initially present as a form of Cl minus and you see the mole of CaO Cl Cl I have assumed the mole of CaO Cl Cl is B so mole of Cl minus that is coming from CaO Cl Cl is B mole so I can say mole of Cl minus coming from coming from CaO Cl Cl this is B mole so I can say total mole of Cl minus total Cl minus will be A plus B plus B that is A plus 2 B mole are you getting and total mole of Cl, Cl minus can be also calculated the precipitate AgCl so AgCl precipitate is mole of AgCl is 0.287 divided by molecular weight molecular weight of AgCl is 143.5 so this is the mole of AgCl so this is the mole of AgCl similarly same as mole of Cl minus because Cl 1 Cl minus precipitate with 1 mole of Ag plus so this is same as same as mole of Cl minus so now I can equate these two things so this is equals to A plus 2B so A plus 2B is equals to 0 0.287 divided by 143.5 and I have another equation so let us call this equation is 1 and we have also one equation 2A plus 2B so this equation I think uh, it's written here 2A plus 2B is equals to 15 into 10 to the power minus 3 so 2a plus 2b that is equals to 15 into 10 to the power minus 3 this is my equation 2 if I subtract these two equations so I will have a is equals to so 
So if I subtract this equation from this one, so we will have 2a is equals to 15 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 0.2 c 1 divided by 143.5. Are you getting? So let me calculate this value. So this value comes out to be uh, 0 0.015 minus 0.2 at C1 divided by 143.5, 143.5. So this comes out to be 0 0.013. So this is the mole of, so this is 0 0.013 mole. So this A is what? A is basically mole of, you see here, uh, A is mole of NaOCl. So this is mole of NaOCl. So mole of NaOCl is this. Are you getting? So what is the bait of NaOCl? So you can calculate bait of NaOCl that is this multiplied by molecular bait and you can calculate the molecular bait of NaOCl that is 74.5 Are you getting? So bait of 74.5 This is the bait of NaOCl and percentage of NaOCl will be so this is the ground, percentage of NaOCl will be this 0 0.013 into 74.5, this divided by total weight, so what is the total weight? Total weight is 2 grams, so this divided by 2 into 100, so what this value comes out to be? So let us check this, answer multiplied by 74.5 and this divided by 2 and multiplied by 100 so 48.25 percent 48.425 percent so this is 48.425 percent so around 48 percent now answer is not coming out to be 48.40 percent so let us check whether there is a mistake so if you see here, uh, in the first part, I think here, there is a mistake. This equation, I multiplied by 2, there is no need to multiply by 2. This is itself balanced. You see this side you have 2 electron. This side also have 2 electrons. So there is no need to multiply by 2. So this is no 2 here. So we will have simply A plus B. You are getting, so there will be no 2. Because A plus B mole will react with 1 mole. So A plus B here will have. So wherever you have 2A plus 2B, that will be simply A plus B. So this is A plus B. Are you getting? So here you also have A plus B. Are you getting? So A plus B is equals to this. So if I subtract these two equations, so what we will have? So I can solve for this B. So B will be now this minus this. So this is plus, this is minus. Get it. So if I solve this one, so this comes out to be 0 0.013. Let me check. So 0 0.2 at C1, 0 0.2 at C1 divided by 143.5 minus 0 0.015. So this is minus 0 0.013. So there is some mistake. Okay, this is the mole of AgCl in 10 ml. So I have to multiply this equation also by 10. You're getting so this is the mole of AgCl 0.287. This is the mole of let me see here. So 0.287 gram AgCl precipitated. This is in the solution of 10 gram 10 ml. The initial solution is 100 ml. So I have to multiply divide by multiply by 10 also. So this will be multiplied by 10. And then I have to see. So let us do this calculation again. So let us rub this one. So I will have, okay, let us solve these two equations again. So I have A plus 2B. This is equals to 0.2 at C1 divided by 143.5 into 10. So let us calculate this value. So 0.2 at C1, 0.2 at C1. 0.2 at C1 divided by 143.5 so this is 2 into 
10 to the power minus 3 into 10. So this comes out to be 0 0.02. So this is 0 0.02. And the second equation I have 2a plus 2b. This is equals to 15 into 10 to the power minus 3. So that is 0 0.015. Now I can subtract this to equation. So I can have so let me check 15 into 10 to the power minus 3 we have yeah a plus b is equals to 15 into 10 to the power minus 3 so a plus b is equals to 15 into 10 power so 0 0.015 so if i subtract this so b is equals to 0 0.05 no 0 0.005 so 0 0.02 minus 0 0.015 that is 0 0.005 so this is the value of b and what is b b is basically mole of caocl I can say mole of CaOCl-Cl this is equal to 0 0.005 mole so what is the percentage of CaOCl-Cl so this is the mole multiplied by molecular weight molecular weight of CaOCl2 is 127 divided by initial weight of solution that is weight of the mixture 2 gram multiplied by 100 so if you do this calculation this comes out to be 0 0.005 multiplied by 127 divided by 2 and into 100 so this comes out 31.75 percent so this is 31.75 percent similarly you can calculate the percentage of NaOCl so calculate percentage of NaOCl I am not going to calculate this is for you the answer is coming out to be 32.37.25 percent are you getting so this is the percentage of NaOCl so you have to be very careful in balancing the equation in the first place I have multiplied by 2 and that's why we have missed the data already okay let us finish this problem we'll discuss the next problem so what are the important point we have in this question is in this question important point we have that is the cl minus in the second titration that is the agcl precipitation titration second titration is a precipitation titration and the first titration is a redox titration the important point we have the cl minus that is coming in the second reaction is coming from two steps one that is initial cl minus that has not reacted that is the originally cl minus present and the next cl minus that is coming from ocl minus so total cl minus is initially present cl minus plus produced cl minus and from there i can get a one equation and one equation i will get from redox titration are you getting let us finish here and we will discuss the next problem.